One of the ways that you can support the podcast is by purchasing or picking up our limited edition apparel. The shirt that I have on right now is one of the only shirts that we've brought back for a second time. Normally, we'll never do that, but the only reason we brought this one back for a second time is it sold out within six hours. So we brought this one back. We also got a second one that we just dropped. It's our, I guess, just Halloween edition shirt. Go to leadfts.com or go to the link in the description. This really does help us out because this directly supports the Table Talk podcast. Thank you guys. Enjoy the show. What's up guys, Tom Shepard here at the Elite FTS Compound again. We're just going to do a quick video for you today on basically a dumbbell press loaded stretch. Mainly because a lot of us are going to spend most of our day on a computer or on our phone in this forward rounded position. So we need to do an effective stretching routine to get our shoulders packed back in position then when we're lifting. This can be a really good warm up for any kind of pressing workout if you are in that position to get you opened up through your pecs and your shoulders back into a neutral position. Not only that, but since it's a loaded stretch, it's going to bring with it a load of other perks as well, like some hypertrophy and tendon strength and all that type of thing. So you could do this at the beginning of your pressing workout to help open yourself up before you do any, say, especially flat pressing work, if you're bench pressing or doing dips, something like that. Or you, alternatively, you could do it on your rest days. Again, if you have something like an office-based job and you spend a lot of time forward like that, this can be done to help relieve that at the end of the day to get you back into that more neutral position. So we've got Greg here who's going to demo this for us. He's going to set up exactly like he would for a regular dumbbell press. So he set up his shoulder girdle where he's kind of pulled them down and back, just like you'd set up for a regular bench press or a dumbbell press. Now he's going to pull the dumbbells down to the bottom position. Now the key here is in the loaded stretch is that when he gets to the bottom position, it's not a passive relaxation type stretch. What Greg's actually doing here is he's pulling his chest up nice and high, retracting his shoulder blades and then actively pulling or rowing the dumbbells down at all times. So what we're learning here is that A, we're teaching the body how to keep tension in all these muscles whilst they're being put into a stretch position. And this constant pulling down motion is also gonna slowly over time, allow these pecs to ease off and slowly get further down in space. You can come out of that and I do, thank you. So that's the important thing to remember is that that whole time you're not just hanging out here, it's more like a dumbbell row and that you're forcing the back to provide stability and tension to teach your body that this is a safe position and we can sink lower into that position whilst maintaining tension. Now, if you're someone who wants to be able to get even greater degrees of extension or you're someone who's quite narrow in the shoulder or has a fat pad on their bench and they end up getting limited by the pad or your arm hits the pad before you get as low as possible, what you can do then is put a foam roller on the bench. So if we just set this up for Greg now, I'm gonna hold that there whilst he goes back on the bench. What the foam roller is gonna do is elevate him up and allow him more freedom behind the shoulder joint. So now when he comes down, A, if the pad was a fat pad, it now wouldn't get in the way. And it's gonna allow him just to get into even greater degrees here and even greater stretch. So that's a way that you can kind of intensify it if you wanna work on this even more, or if you wanna use it as a hypertrophy tool, the more of a stretch we can get in the pecs there, the better the results from it are gonna be. Hope that helps you guys. This is Dave Tate from Elite FTS. Last year, we partnered with Ken Kanak and to co-host the Swiss Symposium. It's built on hypertrophy and sport medicine for strength athletes and practitioners to come together in one place, which will be the Columbus Hilton at Easton. You are going to learn how to level up your training based upon the success and failures of others. You have to stay on top of your game if you want to be able to make the success and move forward at the pace that you want. Just to name a few of the presenters that will be presenting. We're going to have Matt Winning, Brian Carroll, Eric Serrano, Jim Wendler. That's just a few. These experts will be presenting on low back injury and prevention, exercise selection, as well as a business steroid recovery and restoration panel. If you want to network with one of the experts that we have presenting, we're going to have people there to be able to help you do that. To register for the Swiss Symposium, go to the EliteFTS.com website, look for the banner on the homepage, click that, and we'll see you there.